Apple Watch is the device that I'm using the most throughout the day. So in this video I want to talk about my thoughts about its performance, battery life and overall functionality in 2018. In case of the design, this device looks the same as Series 1, Series 2 or Series 3. It's kind of like the difference between the iPhone 6 and 6s. That means more internal changes while the device still looks exactly the same as its predecessor. I have the Space Gray version and I can assure you that if I put my Apple Watch and Series 3 next to each other, you won't see the difference. Same size 38 and 42mm options and the same bands which means you can actually put the band from the newest watch to Series 0 and it will fit perfectly. However, more differences are inside. Apple Watch Series 0 has an old processor and it hangs on everyday use. Of course you can see the time and change the watch faces, but when you have to open an app, it loads forever or it crashes. I personally had many apps on my watch when I bought it, but now I don't need any of these anymore. I just use it for of course checking time, customized watch faces and seeing notifications. Sometimes I'll also reply to an iMessage using the quick reply option. I also use it as a fitness tracker, and this is my favorite feature of this watch. In Activity app, you can track how much calories you burn and how many hours you're active. It has heart rate monitor built in. And the last thing that I actually use is unlocking my Mac using Apple Watch. For those of you who have a MacBook without Touch ID, it was definitely a quicker way than typing your password. For these tasks, Apple Watch Series 0 is definitely okay, but if you're that person who would like to do almost anything on your hand, this isn't the right choice. Right now I want to show you the real-life experience with this device. Maybe you can decide by yourself whether this performance is awesome or maybe it sucks. Let's see. As you can see I tried to open the workout app and it crashed. This happens to me on an everyday basis. Then, when I open it again, it worked normally. Sometimes, when I click on notification, there is a huge lag, especially with activity notifications. When I open the AliExpress app, I have to wait really long for it to open. And that is the thing with every other app. You have to wait really, really long for it to actually load. The multitasking works okay. It has a bit of frame draws, but it's not terrible. And the music control also works as intended. Let me know in the comments what you think about the performance of this Apple Watch. Now, as always, it's time to the conclusion. I think for 2018 it's definitely better to save up a little bit of money and go for the Series 1. It is basically the same watch but with improved specs and what goes with it is better performance. And if you like to swim with your watch on the hand, the Series 2 is your thing. It is waterproof up to 50 meters so it won't break underwater. It has also GPS built in so you know where you're going even when you don't have your phone on the run. The battery is better too. People claim to charge their watch every two days and I need to charge mine every single day. But at least it lasts me a full day of medium use, so it's not that bad. Final answer. Is Apple Watch Series 0 worth it in 2018? No. As you've seen in my real life experience, using this watch is pain in the ass. Lags, hangs, crashes and restarts happen to me on everyday basis. And I just can't recommend you this product because I know you will be disappointed. If I would choose one watch which is worth the money, it would be the Series 1. It starts from $249 and I think it's a reasonable price for what it offers. Design-wise, it's the same as Series 0, but what really matters here is better performance. And if you want to have a watch for the next 3 or even 4 years, you may need to spend some more money on Series 3. 
So thanks for watching everyone and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like because it really motivates me to do more videos. And let me know what you think about the quality of this video. I recorded it in 4K using my iPhone and I downscaled it to 1080p and I'm really curious about your opinion. Also check me out on Twitter because I'm really active there. Once more, thanks for watching and as always, see you in the next video.